Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to another day of school. So come, come, come to the computer. Come, come, come to the computer. Come, come, come to the computer. It's time to start our day. Make sure you're singing with me. Ready? Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. I love the pip pip patter of the raindrops, I love the buzz buzz buzzing of the bees. But the thing I love the best, the very, very best, is to know, is to know, is to know, is to know, is to know that God loves me. Oh, blue skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven are what I can see. When my Lord is living in me, I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Never more will I be all alone since he promised me that we never would part. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is a day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, God is listening, God is listening. When we pray, when we pray, bow your head so quietly, close your eyes so tightly. Now we'll pray, now we'll pray. Dear God, we just come to you today and we say, you are so awesome and powerful and we are so grateful that you love us so much. Dear Lord, thank you so much for the beautiful sunshine that you put in the sky for all the little bugs and creatures that you've created on earth that help take care of plants and have so many jobs that um, help us. And dear Lord, thank you so much for our families who are loving us and taking such good care of us and all the people who are helping to make sure that we're safe and well. And dear Lord, I pray you'll be with each of us today, that we will be our very best and that we will make you proud and make ourselves proud. Thank you so much again for loving us, and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we're staying for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now yesterday was Sunday, so today is Monday. What letter does Monday start with? M, that's right. M says what sound? That's right. M says, mm. everybody say that. Ready? Mm. Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow will be what? Tuesday. That's right. All day long. All day long. Now, what is the weather like at your house today? Look outside and see. I looked out my window and I saw the sun. It is sunny, it is sunny, it is sunny out today. Oh, I am so glad it's sunny. I can go out and play. 
what is it like? I hope it's sunny at your house too. All right, so today we're looking at a new day of the week. So we're on a new day and today is Monday and we're still in the month of April. So let's look and see what number we're Okay, so let's count and see. We're on Monday, April, and look, yesterday was 19, so what is today? Good job. Well, let's count it together. Count with me now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. Today is the twentieth. So it's Monday, April twentieth. 2020. Now last week we talked about ladybugs and do you know what? We're still going to talk about ladybugs but we're going to call them something more than just a ladybug. Do you know what it is? I bet you do. Well before I tell you that word some of you may even be reading the word right here. It starts with an I and it's in insects. Did you know a ladybug is an insect? But you know insects are lots of bugs, not just ladybugs. Actually, Molly found one that she wants to show up. Hi Molly. Hi boys and girls. What kind of insect do you have in your hand? I have a firefly. A firefly? Is that a firefly? <gasps> No, it's not a firefly. I was just teasing. He, 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 he. What is it? It's a dragonfly. A dragonfly. Wow. Have you all seen any dragonflies? I have. I've seen some dragonflies when I've gone to my box. This is a dragonfly. Wow. Look, that is very cool. There's some things that you I notice about this dragonfly. What is it? What do you notice? Yeah, it has wings. What else do you notice? Do you see anything else? Yeah, he has some eyes. Look, and he has some legs. Wow, how many legs does he have, Molly? I counted six. All right, let's see if she's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, Molly, you're right, that is. A dragonfly and a dragonfly is an insect. Yeah, it's an insect and there's lots of other creatures that are insects. There are certain things that all insects have the same. There are? Yeah. Would you read them that book we saw? Yes, I will. Molly's right. She wants me to show you a book that kind of tells about insects. All right, Molly, you can go back, but why did you say firefly earlier? Because a firefly is an insect too. <gasps> You're right. All right. Well, we're going to learn what things are insects and how we know if something is an insect or not. So let's look at that book. All right, Molly, we'll see you in a few minutes, okay? All right, bye. All right, so we're going to read a book that says Bugs Are Insects. And we're going to read part of the book that helps us learn how we know if a bug is an insect or not. All right, bugs are insects. What do you recognize? Yeah, those are ladybugs, just like we talked about last week, and they are insects. Let's see what else. There are many kinds of insects living all around us. <gasps> Ants are insects, so are crickets and mosquitoes. So are butterflies and bees. Wow, they all look a little different, don't they? But they're all insects. Many insects have two pairs of wings and a pair of antenna. So there's their antennas. Whoa, look how long his are. And there's that one. Some of the antenna are long like the crickets and or butterflies. Sometimes they are short like those of beetles. Yeah, they look really different, don't they? But all insects have bodies that are divided into three parts. Three parts. 
They have a head, thorax, and an abdomen. There are six legs attached to the thorax. Anything that has six legs and three body parts is an insect. Wow, a ladybug has six legs and three body parts. Is it an insect? Yes, it's an insect. Now look at the spider. Is it an insect? What do you think? Does it have three body parts? Well, I just see one, two. Oh, does it have six legs? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it has eight legs. So do you think it's an insect? No, it's not an insect. It is an arachnid. So it's not an insect. A spider's not an insect. Scorpions and daddy long legs and are arachnids too. So they're not insects either. Now different kinds of insects have different kinds of mouths to suck, pierce, bite, or chew. A mosquito has a mouth that can go like this. And remember, some of you have gotten mosquito bites before, haven't you? So it'll poke into your skin. A butterfly has a long curled tongue mouth that's good for sucking nectar. So see right here, it comes all the way out and goes into the flower to select ne nectar. It's like sucking through a straw. Now different kinds of insects have different kinds of legs as well. Crickets have long black legs for jumping. A water boatman has wide flat legs for paddling. That's him right here. And here's our cricket. And bees have fuzzy legs. Let's see if you can see them. They're kind of fuzzy. And that way he can carry pollen from flower to flower. And grasshoppers have legs for making music. Yeah, so their legs are all different. Even though they all look really different, they're all insects. Oh, look here. Some insects are good builders. Ants build tunnels. Bees build honeycombs of wax that come with their, from their bodies. Wasps build paper nests. These insects live in large communities where each one helps each other. No matter what they look like or how they live, all insects have six legs and three body parts. Here are some of the creatures you might find in your backyard. Are they insects? Well, let's look. We have to look and see, do they have six legs? So that's one way to find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, look at this one. Does, do you think that's an insect right there? How many legs does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> Not an insect. What about this guy? Does he have six legs? Yeah, he's an insect. What about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's an insect. What about the ladybug? We already know she has six, or he has six legs. Ooh, what about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, he's an insect. What about this one right here? Does that look like it has six legs? No, that has way too many legs. That's not an insect, is it? What about this one? Yes. What about this one? Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. What about this guy? Yep, so those are insects. It says, insects are all around, flying through the air, chewing on leaves, creeping through grass. Scientists think that there are more kinds of insects than there are kinds of fish or birds or any other animal in the world. So look in your own backyard and see how many insects you can find. Always remember to count their legs. So there's an ant. Most of us see ants, don't we? When we're out walking, we'll see ant piles. Those are insects, but look at all these bugs that are insects. So that's how we can tell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sing a fun song to help us remember what makes an insect, okay? So we're gonna have, remember they have three body parts. They have six legs, they have antenna. Some of them have wings and some of them don't. So that's okay, they may look a little different, but they all have those main characteristics.
All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna to try to show you something here. If you were at school today, I would probably have handed you the parts kind of like we did Matt Man. But I'm gonna show you the parts of an insect. First, there's a head. Then there's this part, which is the thorax. And then at the bottom is an abdomen. So the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And so we sing this part of the song. This is part of our book. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Now here comes the next part of the song. I'm gonna pause a second. All right, next we have two eyes. So Hayden's gonna put two eyes for us. So two eyes, then we have six legs. So let's count them as he puts them on. Ready? Here they come. One, two, three, Four, five, six. Six legs. Now we need his antenna. So he's going to put on some antenna. Good job. Thank you, Hayden. All right, so what we're going to do is sing a song. And what we're going to do is point to each one as we sing it. Ready? Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Eyes, six legs, antenna, two. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. All right, you think you got it, guys? All right, we'll sing it even faster this time. Ready? Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Eyes, six legs, antenna, two. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Good job, everybody. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice words on for you to see. So do you see the words on it? So, Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Eyes, six legs, antenna, two. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. All right, so hopefully that will help us remember the different uh, parts of the insect. So what we'll do now, Okay, so maybe that song will help us remember it, but we can even do it with our own body. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Eyes, six legs, antenna, two. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. All right, now I'm going to show you a short video that uh, helps us see this too. So here is our video. That word says insects. Insects have an exoskeleton. They have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Most have wings, but they all have six legs. They have two antenna, and they lay a lot of eggs. Bees say, bees say, bees say. Cricket say, cricket say, cricket say, cricket say, move like a bug, move like a bug, move like a bug, move like a bug, now dance like a bug, dance like a bug, dance like a bug, dance like a bug. Okay, so 
that was just a for okay so did you hear in the song they said the same things they said they had six legs and that they had the three body parts and they had antenna and some have wings so i'm going to show you different ones and you tell me if it is an insect or not an insect and if you were at school, I would probably pass out some bugs to you, but you can look around if you have any little play toy bugs or anything, you can check and count their legs and see if they're insect. All right, let's look at this one. You see this bug? All right, let's turn him over. Does he have three body parts? Yeah, he has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. And look, he has these antenna here. And how many legs does he have? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, Yes, he's an insect. What about this? This bug, do you think he's an insect? Well, let's see, head, thorax, abdomen. Yep, he has eyes, antenna, and one, two, three, four, five, six legs. He's an insect. All right, what about this one? Is this an insect? Let's see, head, thorax, oh, no one two parts let's see how many legs he has one two three four five six seven eight <gasps> he does have antenna oh is this an is this an insect no this is a spider he is not an insect all right let's try another one what about this bug right here is this an insect let's see head thorax head thorax abdomen yep he's got that does he have two eyes yeah, he has eyes. How many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Does he have antenna? Yes, this is an insect. Awesome. All right, is this an insect? Yeah, this is another insect. He has the three body parts, head, thorax, abdomen. One, two, three, four, five, six legs. And he has the eyes, the antenna, and this one has wings. Remember, some of them have wings and some don't. And we said the butterfly was one too. So we're going to look at a lot more um, insects this week. And we'll be talking about them. But we'll be using them to play fun games to help us learn other things too. So I hope that you will enjoy learning about insects. And God made the insects all for different reasons. Remember we talked about ladybugs are help farmers and we know that bees are helpful to plants to help them grow like flowers. And then they also make honey for us. So there's lots and lots of things that these different insects do that help us. So God had a plan for each thing he created. He created every single thing for a purpose. So that is what is so cool about our God. He knew exactly what he's doing and he made all the creatures on this whole earth. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do this morning. But when you come back later, after you have a little break or go outside and play or eat a snack, when you come back for lesson two, we'll be talking some more. I'll read you this fun book about bugs, and then we're going to look at our letter of the day to help us with practicing our writing. All right, so I will see you in just a little bit. See you in a little bit. Bye.